Hey everyone, welcome back to Raising Rayburns. Carol here. Happy Monday to you. It is time for this week's weekly menu and grocery haul. I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for everyone that watched my meal plan with me video from last week. It got great feedback and I'm happy about that because it was a very requested video. So if that is something that you enjoyed watching and would like to see in the future, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button down below so that way I know that you enjoyed it. Let's dive right into what we bought today. Thomas just got back with our grocery order from King Super. We used Click List, so he went and picked it up this morning, and there is a lot going on here. This is actually including our weekend grocery, so it will be seven days worth of food, Sunday through Friday, or Saturday through Friday. There we go. Starting with Saturday night's dinner, we are going to be having eggs, with biscuits and gravy. So we have the sausage here, biscuits, and the sausage gravy mix that we will use to make dinner. And I have a feeling the house will smell amazing when we make this. It's been a while since we have made biscuits and gravy, so I'm excited. Sunday night's dinner is pretty simple. I ordered a whole chicken, but they were out, so they substituted with the eight-piece baked chicken, which works just as well, and they gave us the lower price, so we didn't actually pay $8 for this. And we are having broccoli with that, which is already in the freezer. And I got some crescent rolls to go with dinner as well. Moving into Monday night, we will be having beef stir fry. So we have the stir fry for that. Rice, because we were in need of more. And I am in love with my rice cooker. So I'll be using that for the rice. And this is the mixed veggies, the stir fry mix for that as well. We already have the sauce in the fridge, so we're good there. Tuesday night, we will be having chicken fajitas. So this is the chicken for that. There's two chicken breasts in there from the fresh meat case. The fajita shells themselves, we are going to have a salad with it. So this is the lettuce and tomatoes for the salad. And then for the fajitas, we have black beans, corn, and then over here, green peppers and onion, which moves us into Wednesday night. And we will be splitting these vegetables between both these nights. So I will pre-cut them all on Wednesday or on Tuesday with the chicken fajitas and then we will reuse the rest for Wednesday for our steak hoagies. So I got steakums for that, pepper and onion, french fries, and then the hoagie rolls there in the back. Moving on to Thursday's meal, we will be doing crock pot chili, family favorite around here. So two pounds of ground beef, my crock pot chili seasoning mix, and all the accoutrement, tomato sauce, diced tomatoes and our kidney beans are there in the back. As always for Friday night, we will be doing pizza night. So that is not represented here. We order pizza on Friday nights. It's a fun family tradition and pizza is my favorite food. On to breakfast items, eggs. I'm gonna be having hard boiled eggs this week instead of my normal um, grab and go burrito or something like that. But Thomas did want burritos this week so these are for him, he has egg and sausage and cheese, and then some of them are egg and bacon and cheese. Melanie requested French toast sticks, so those are for her. Joanna will be having frozen pancakes, which we have in the freezer already, and we need to finish up, so she's gonna do that. Strawberry yogurt for me, my favorite light and fit Greek yogurt, and then my V8 energy drinks, because I need those. They keep me going in the morning, they wake me up. Moving on to lunch items, me, Thomas, and Melanie will all be having ham with our lunch this week, so a big package of ham. Thomas is going to have his on this sweet Hawaiian bread, which looked delicious, so I got that for him. And then for myself, I am doing sandwiches on Sandwich Slims. And then Melanie will not be having it in sandwich form. She just likes to have the ham by itself, and then she will have the macaroni and cheese with that and we needed more syrup to go with her French toast sticks, so that is there. Joanna's lunch is over here. As usual, Lunchables, she will take those to school, and then to go inside lunch boxes, we have an assortment of items. For Melanie, I got the green apple and caramel dip. She really likes this. Thomas and I have string cheese to go in our lunches, and Joanna, I picked up these pre-sliced organic apple slices. How fancy is that? as well as some chocolate milk for her to bring to school. Usually we get that from Costco, but it's supposed to snow this weekend and I really didn't wanna to have to go to any other more stores. So just got it from King Supers this time. 
In terms of miscellany and snack items, that's what you're seeing here. So Thomas has banana cream pie pudding. I have chocolate fudge pudding. Sodas in the back, my feisty cherry diet coke and Thomas's Coca-Cola original. I got two boxes of shells and cheddar macaroni and cheese because they were on sale for 99 cents a piece. So I figured it was a good time to just add some to our stockpile. Fruit snacks for Joanna to go in her snack bin. We are not fully out of juice because I bought a bunch last week. So I went ahead and just got one for going into this next week. Orange juice pulp free. Our usual loaf of bread for toast or whatever or snacks. And then for the kids for the week, I got these giant 20 pack snack boxes. These were on sale for $4.99 a piece, which is a great price. They're usually nearly $10. So I got two Cheez-Its and the Famous Amos chocolate chip cookies. That is all of the items that we have purchased for this week. I am so grateful, and this is my celebrating the everyday moment, that we are going into not only the week prepared, but this weekend prepared. It is supposed to begin snowing here shortly on Saturday when I'm filming this, and snow Saturday and Sunday, going into Monday, which should be super interesting Monday morning, trying to get to work and school. However, we at least have our pantry, fridge, etc., fully stocked, and for that, I am grateful. Our total for this week was $178. Eee, that is a big number. However, this haul is also including our weekend groceries, and generally, when I do our grocery haul, it is only including Monday through Friday. So considering that it is that full seven days, I think we did very well, and yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that total. We will see you next time. If you have any comments, leave them down below. I know that a lot of my video's comments are still disabled. However, I am able to approve commenting. So if you do comment, I am a small enough channel that I wasn't fully affected by the sweep that YouTube did. And so I can go in and approve your comments. That way we can still talk to one another. And yeah, also grateful for that. We will see you next time. Bye.